Welcome, welcome to Angry Appliance Repair Person. For the record, you're looking at them. So, this particular presentation is going to be about gas grills. Now, some people would say, well, why is a serviceman talking about gas grills? Gas grills, there's not much to them. You just push a button, it clicks, you smell the gas, whoosh, you get the flame, everybody's happy. In today's world, there are a lot of gas grills that are a little more complex than that. So I want to talk a little bit about the differences between what I call a regular gas grill and what I would call a built-in gas grill. There are some differences. The regular gas grill, of course, works very simply. You push a button, there's usually a 9-volt battery that creates a spark. And that 9-volt battery will spark, and then the, you'll hear the gas when you turn on the knob. It will click, it will light, everybody's good, you start to grill. Fine. These can sometimes work a little differently. Instead of having a spark, they have a glow plug, we call them in the business. And the, yes, yes, what now, smartest man in the house? I'm just getting started. What the heck do you keep interrupting me for? Oh, yeah, yeah, I know not everybody knows what a glow plug is. I'm getting there. Sometimes we talk about them as being glow plugs, and as the smartest man just pointed out, sometimes we use igniter. Igniter is the proper terminology. Smart Alec always has to interrupt. So the igniter itself is one of those things that needs power. So on these grills, a lot of times in the doors, there will be an outlet that plugs into a transformer, and the transformer actually creates the power so the igniters can glow. So there's no spot, there's no click, there's no noise, there's no little clicking that you can tap your foot to if you want to. No, none of that. This you just turn on and the little glow bar will glow nice and orange, hit the gas as it comes in and lights. It's a much smoother lighting, even though it works the same way as the clicker, but the igniters, they need to be cleaned a little bit more and they need to make sure that that glow hits the gas. And that's where I come in sometimes. They actually call for service because they, the glow plugs won't glow anymore. Sometimes the transformer fails, sometimes the glow plug fails. And I admit that's a little bit more advanced for someone to put in than just changing a 9 volt battery on this one. So, with that being said, before you actually call for service, when you work on one, excuse me, when you have one of these and you want to know if you need someone to work on it or you can look at it yourself, a lot of these kind of grills they have infrared burners as well as standard burners. Believe it or not, this is, I know, surprising, but dirt plays a big factor in gas getting into the burner. These must be cleaned. So, when they're not cleaned, they don't light. It's that simple. People think, well, I'm just not going to clean it. it just the way I'm going to leave it like that. But if you don't clean the burners, sometimes they will not light because the glow when the orange glow comes on the igniter, it will not hit the gas if the holes are clogged near the igniter. So then it cannot hit the gas, which means you're standing there, you see the glow, but it's not lighting. You smell the gas, you're getting concerned, you don't want an explosion, so you turn it off. When in reality, all you need to do is take the burners out of the grill. Look at where the little small holes are near the igniter. Use a sewing needle and poke a needle into the holes to get the grease out so the gas can go through those holes, hit the little glow bar, and light for you. It's really not that hard to do as long as the burners come out. Almost all of these styles have burners that will easily come out so you can fix them and clean them and replace the burners if you need to. If you find that the holes are so solidified that you can't even get it out of there, yes, you can order a new burner and replace the burner. You don't need to pay me to do that. So, but the glow plugs themselves, as long as they are glowing and as long as you smell the gas, the only thing left is just simply dirt and you have to get the dirt out of those holes. If you have an infrared, an infrared burner has a screen the screen allows the gas to be more even as it lights, to give you a more even glitter. But that screen, again, needs to be clean. If the little holes in the screen are not clean, the gas will never hit the igniter and it will never light. Same thing. Most of those can be taken out, cleaned and put back in. So instead of paying someone to say, oh, ma'am, you need to clean your grill. You could basically just take them out, 
make sure that those holes are open with a sewing needle, put it back in, and most of the time that's all you need to do. Now, on this kind of gas grill, there isn't much to service with the exception of making sure the 9-volt battery is good and making sure that when you push the button, you see a spark. Other than that, it's the same thing. If you have a spark and you smell the gas, that means you, don't, you have dirt in the holes that is not allowing it to light and they need to be clean. Almost as long as this one makes a noise and sparks and this one glows, it's just dirt. They pay me to come out there and tell them that. So, as long as you hear the clicking and or see the glow, there's probably nothing wrong with the product. Obviously, you need gas. Every once in a great while, I get a regulator, which is the piece that shoots the gas from the tank into the gas for the grill. Every once in a while, I get one that fails. But to be honest, they are rare. They don't go bad very often. Most of the time, it has to do with the ignition, where you have no spark or no glow, or it's just dirt. So keep it in mind before you call a serviceman in the future. Now, for the senile thought each week, I am going to talk about time versus savings. Now, the smartest man in the house, he likes it when I make the main presentation meet the senile thought each week. So I decided to make him happy and actually do a, uh, uh, oh, oh, shoot, what, what is that called, smartest man? Oh, segue, that's it. So I want to segue from this into this. Sometimes money versus time can be important. Everybody's time is worth something. I do not think that someone's time should be free. Being a serviceman, lots of people pay me for my time to come out to their house and explain something to them. That is worth just as much as me fixing something. So with that being said, if you don't have the time to clean your grill and that is your problem, fine. There are services out there that you can pay for to clean your grill. Call one of them if you don't want to do it yourself. Go right ahead. Nothing wrong with that. Just like people pay me sometimes to do simple repairs on appliances where I think, well, all you need is a Phillips head screwdriver for this, but their time is more important to them than taking the time to do that. Fine. Then pay someone to do it. So also, time versus savings has to do with appliances. The biggest question I get with appliances, and this is almost every appliance, refrigerator, washer, dryer, dishwasher, doesn't matter. Why do they run so long? They run so long, but they tell me that they say power. They do. The amount of power and water that these appliances use is so low that even though it needs to run longer, like your dishwasher run two hours, or your refrigerator runs a very long time throughout the day, a lot of times what happens is it's using less power and less water, but it's still doing the same result. So the savings, energy savings guides on the appliances give you these small little numbers, but they don't tell you about how long it needs to run to be able to achieve your food staying cold or your clothes getting washed, even though they run longer, but they still do the same job. So time versus energy savings. A lot of people say, well, I don't want to have my dishwasher run for two hours. I want to empty that thing in an hour. Well, that's not going to happen. Back in the 70s and 80s, yes, they would get done that quick, but not today. So what is more important, time or, energy or savings? It's hard to say. It's a matter of opinion. So regretfully, no appliance bid today is basically going to do the job quickly. All appliances are going to take longer. Refrigerator is going to run longer. Washer is going to run longer. And if you have watched a previous presentation I have done, I am going to say it, though I don't like to say it. If you want an appliance that will actually run with less time, but do the same job, I don't think that really exists anymore. That's the way it is, and I cannot change it. So, we thank you for spending some of your day with us.